Korea is notorious for its long working hours, but a new report shows Koreans also work the longest after the legal retirement age. However, something to note is that even if they work, one in two elderly people still live below the poverty line. Kim Min-ju sheds light on the grim reality for many elderly Koreans. Koreans are working more than anyone else in the OECD. According to an OECD report, the actual age at which Korean men retired stood at 72.9 years in 2014. That's up 1.8 years from the previous year and puts Korea number one among 34 OECD member countries. The situation wasn't much different for Korean women who left the job market completely at nearly 71 years old. It means both Korean men and women work more than 10 years after the legal retirement age of 60. Just because elderly Koreans are working longer, it doesn't mean they're making big money. In fact, Korea has the highest elderly poverty rate among OECD nations. Of those over 65, almost half are said to live in poverty, which is nearly four times higher than the OECD average of 12.6%. Korea's elderly also only earn about 60 percent of a worker's average pay. This is, again, the lowest in the OECD. With the exception of five countries, including Australia and Belgium, post-retirement age workers in OECD member nations generally earn at least 80 percent of their country's average salary. The pension system was adopted later than other OECD nations, so Koreans haven't been able to prepare in advance. Now they have to work after retirement in order to sustain their living. But even if they have skills, they don't get paid as much. Experts say Korea's welfare policies have been unable to keep up with a rapidly aging population, adding that better employment policies for those nearing retirement age need to be implemented, not just for economic reasons, but to raise the quality of life post-retirement. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.